Welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm going to tell you how to fit true 35 inch tires on a Tundra. But first let me just show you my new wheels and tires because I am so happy how they turned out. I am so happy the way these turned out with the gray on the bronze. These are 18 inch methods and 35, 12 and a half, 18 general tires. Let's show you. Right there. General ATXs. The reason I went with these methods is because they were one of the very few methods that I could get with a 25 set plus millimeter offset that doesn't give too much poke. So you look and see down the side here, there's not a whole lot of poke outside of the fender. And that is what I really liked. I didn't want them sticking out too far. The last ones I had, I think they were maybe zero offset and they just stuck out way too far. I love how flush they are. They don't throw rocks and dirt up the whole side of the truck. These are one of the few that are actually true hub centric according to method. Uh, most of them are lug centric, which I was not a fan of. I wanted to make sure I had hub centric wheels. If you're familiar with the rear axle poke on these trucks, um, I actually had the tire shop take the wheels off and measure the offset on both because this one has, I don't know what, an inch or so past the fender. And the other side has much less. You see how you can't even see the top of the tread poking out? That right rear wheel on a lot of these Tundras sticks out further. Look at that, you can see the top of the tread. And that's just how a lot of these trucks are. Some people say it's because the way the axle twists under heavy load, especially towing. Toyota did it, a little offset, so when it's twisting, it is, it'll actually level out and line itself. Some people have taken it to mechanics and had it inspected and see if there's a different way to align it. Not really. I had the guys who did the alignment look at it and they said there was nothing that they could do about it. Compared to the 20 inch black on 33 inch tires that I had on the truck, this is like night and day. I am just so excited the way this looks compared to how it used to. So let me get on some pavement and show you a couple of the rubbing issues we have and how we're gonna remedy that. Yeah is rubbing so bad. Let me see if you can hear it. I don't even want to do it because it feels like the front front of the truck is getting ripped off. All right, here we go. And go. Oh my gosh, do you hear that? Oh, all right, let's jump out and see what's rubbing. Plenty of clearance on that upper control arm. I mean, there's probably good inch and a half, two inches. This is usually a big spot that the stop control arms can hit. And most importantly, that body mount, cab mount. I mean, look at that. I can stick my whole width of my hand in there. That is amazing. There is so much clearance. I thought for sure that thing was gonna have to be chopped. The front bumper right there you can see is rubbing really bad and that's just plastic I just put these things back on about a week ago <laughs> wish I didn't so it's actually tearing it up pretty good we're gonna just mark it with a pen and then use a little heat gun and try to push it back in that's option one there's a few other options for this we'll see if that one works first because it's pretty much free Got it nice and hot, got a big old mallet shoved in there. Applying pressure between the fender and the tire. And it actually is pushing in pretty good. There's the aftermath. It's just a little bit pushed in right here in this section. I don't know, maybe an inch and a half or so. There's a couple other options you can do. I was gonna 
unbolt this whole corner again and see if I could reline it if this one didn't work but it did and it was free so I'm happy there is another option a lot of guys run there's a spacer you can get or buy big washers and you can actually move the whole front bumper forward about half an inch but the ones you can buy are about 80 bucks to 100 bucks they're really nice and fabricated or you could just go down to the hardware store and pick up some washers but then this whole fender line here gets changed because the whole front bumper is pushed forward about half an inch absolutely zero rubbing on the cab mount or nothing we'll go backwards zero rubbing this makes me so happy no more rubbing i love it i didn't want to drive the truck when it was rubbing it felt horrible like the thing was going to be ripped apart now after the alignment has been done i may have spoken a little too soon because when they do the alignment when they're adjusting the caster which is the front to back adjustment they try to keep it out of the bumper and out of the cab mount back here which they have done but it still rubs a little bit right on this corner um, when the wheel is turned it's just this piece right here it's a tiny little corner that you can't really move because there is metal mounting brackets um, for the front corner piece so to actually get the car to not rub at all in the front corner I believe I will have to install um, the front spacer for the bumper or get a new bumper or remove the liner and chop off that corner a little bit it's not a dramatic rub it's just the very corner when you're reversing and turning the wheel not lock to lock necessarily but it's just when the wheels turned about halfway now it isn't anything compared to what this guy might experience um, I don't know there's a lot of fender gap there he might not be rubbing at all but there is definitely a whole crew over here of pretty cool trucks it's an absolute monster I mean look at this thing the video does not do it justice what a beast look at that I mean talk about maximizing tire size jeez huge my goodness what a monster I don't even know how to measure these tires I wouldn't be able to read them to you well let's see 22.5 I don't know something crazy industrial grade imagine driving this thing around I mean even as a demo vehicle getting in and out of gas stations and <laughs> it's pretty awesome pivotal piece of information that I have to share is the coilovers with the control arm that really helps the clearance of the cab mount because when you lift the truck what it does is it brings this whole front tire back that upper control arm helps correct that and it brings the caster forward and that's where you need the clearance to clear that uh, cab mount so the upper control arms the way they're built they don't have the same geometry as the factory ones they don't bind when the trucks lifted they help keep all the geometry set so when the truck does have a little bit of lift from the coilovers or spacer however you want to lift it you do keep the stock configuration with the articulation of the suspension up and down without the tire being moved back. And when they do the alignment, they can play that balancing game of cab mount, bumper, just to get you like a happy medium. After some light off-roading, it's good. The clearance is there, the articulation is good. We don't have any rubbing on the cab mount so far it's just that front bumper we will remedy that later it is annoying driving in and out of parking spots the rubbing on driveways backing out drives me nuts so we'll clearance that cut it change it space the bumper later uh, when we get into some heavier off-roading we might have to do a little more modifications but so far true 35s have fit on the tundra with no cab mount chop just a little trimming of the front bumper i want to thank everybody for watching thank you for your support if you're new, please consider subscribing. Also hit that thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel and I'll see you next time.